Okay, this is Arizona 225 Lab Proctor. There's also an uh, Arizona 245, which is a Lab Proctor. It's alternate method D. 225 is uh, method A. Method A is run on minus number four material. So we have a sieve here. From the field, we need a, a minimum of 20,000 grams of material. We're going to sieve that over a number four sieve. As we sieve it, we need to make sure we're breaking up any clods. We want all the minus four material to pass. We do that for the entire 20,000 gram sample. The material that passes number four sieve, we need to split out five charges of approximately 2,500 grams. Now, once we have that material, we're going to have five charges. First charge that we're going to uh, test is we're going to add enough moisture to get our sample to approximately 3% below optimum. That means it's drier than optimum. Once we pound that one and, and uh, perform that test on that uh, sample, then we have to add 2% for our next sample. That brings us to approximately 1% below optimum. Once we complete that one, we add 2% more moisture to get to approximately 1% above optimum. That means it's wetter than optimum. And then we add 2% more to get our uh, sample to approximately 3% above optimum. We have to run four charges. We split out five. The fifth one is saved as an extra in case we need it for our test. Here I have my approximately 2,500 gram sample of minus four material. The moisture content I'm looking for is slightly less than optimum. Now, there is no way to determine if you're slightly less than optimum. Uh, one thing you can do is go ahead and squeeze some material in your hand. Form it into a cast. It should remain molded uh, after you release pressure. If it don't, then it's too dry. If you squeeze water out as you're squeezing and it's too wet. Once you have your moisture content you're looking for, you need to cover it with a damp cloth or a lid so that you don't lose any moisture. Now I can come over here, I have my mold. I need to get my initial weight of my mold without the collar. This is the mold in the base plate. I'm going to record that weight to the nearest one gram. Weight is 4407.2, that round to 4407 grams. Now, if you have a scale that weighs in pounds, you would weigh it to the nearest 0 0.01 pound. Once you have your weight of your empty weight of your mold and base plate, put the collar back on. You're going to compact your sample on a dense, uniform, rigid, and stable foundation. Place it on there. We have our sample over here. I'm going to compact it in three equal lifts, 25 blows per lift using my rammer. My rammer is a five and a half pound rammer with a 12 inch drop. When I compact it, I want to make sure I go all the way up to the top so I'm getting that 12 inch drop. So I'm listen, listening for that click at the top so I know I'm getting the full 12 inch drop. Three equal lifts. each lift, the material that's in your pan has to be covered with your damp cloth so that you don't lose any moisture. Apply 25 blows using my rammer. I want to make sure I hold my rammer vertical. Make sure that it's the, the sleeve is resting on the material.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Did the third lift, the final lift. back over to my table. I need to remove the collar without breaking the plug off below the top of the mold. With my uh, spatula, what I'm doing is I'm freeing the material up so that I can remove the collar without breaking the mold off, the plug off below the top of the mold. Loosen up the collar, you can move it, lift it up. The total compacted depth is approximately five inches. If the plug does break off below the top of the mold, as I've removed the collar, then I have to start over again. If the height is less than to the top of the mold here, then I would have to start over again. Now I just I need to get rid of the excess. I do that with my straight edge to shave the material off. Shave the material so that it's even with the top of the mold. There's a beveled edge on this straight edge. It's best to use that bevel as you're scraping the material off. Okay, as I was leveling it. I created some voids that are below the top of the mold. I can fill those with the fine material that I shaved off. Just fill the voids, lightly press it in with your straight edge. And then again, make sure you level it with top, uh, even with the top of the mold. Keep doing this until you get all the voids filled and the uh, material is even with the top of the mold. Once I have that, I need to get rid of excess from the outside of the mold. Get all the excess off the outside of the mold. one gram. Now I need to get my sample out of my mold. First I'm going to take the mold out of the face plate. This is a split ring mold so I can loosen up the split here. You have a rubber mallet here, you can tap the side to free it up. Lift straight up. So now my sample's out of the mold. I need to, to cut it in half, to 
To do that, it's best to lay it on its side with your straight edge, put it on the half there and hit it with your mallet a few times. I have two halves. From one of these halves, I need to shave off a minimum of 300 grams of material from the full length, top to bottom and width of my face. Starting at the top, side to side, all the way to the bottom, shaving off material. I need a minimum of 300 grams of material. I need to use everything that I shaved off. Now I have over 300 grams, but I still have to use everything that I shaved off, so I have to get all this material in there. For the moisture, you record your weight to the nearest tenth of a gram, or a point, a point 0.1 gram. Okay, now if I'm going to dry this in an oven or a hot plate, I'm going to dry it at approximately 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Once I dry it to a constant weight and determine my moisture, I'm going to report my moisture to the nearest 0.1%. Okay, now for Arizona 245, which is the alternate method D proctor. Alternate method D proctor is run on minus three quarter inch material. From the field, we need a, a minimum of 45,000 grams of material. We're going to sieve that over our three quarter inch sieve. Again, make sure you break up any clods so that they're all the minus three quarter inch material passes. You do that for the entire 45,000 gram sample. From that minus three quarter inch material, you're going to weigh out five charges of approximately 5,000 grams. Once you have those charges, again, just like on method A, you're going to start. Add enough moisture to get your sample to approximately 3% below optimum. Once you do that one, again, add 2% to get it to 1% below optimum. Add 2% to get it to 1% above optimum. Add 2% again to get it to approximately 3% above optimum. For these proctors, what you're looking for is two points on the dry side and two points on the wet side. There are other differences between method A and alternate method D. They're included on the slide in, the, in this uh, video. Please be sure to read all of the materials available in either your field or soils and aggregate technician certification workbook.